All right, I was going to do a better video than this, but um, I'm just going to do this video because I'm running out of battery power <clears throat> and time. So battery hookup uh, shocked me that they're listing uh, auctions now. And on top of that, they're listing... Um, they're listing uh, nickel cadmium batteries, and so let's take a tour and see what what's up with that. So um, they're already known for li listing uh, things like uh, lithium uh, uh, chemistry um, vehicle batteries and things like that, industrial surplus. Uh, lithium, 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 <laughs> tongue twister in the morning. Lithium batteries of the uh, lithium ion and the lithium iron iron phosphate um, type batteries. So uh, let's not concentrate on that. That's common stuff from them. But what they have now are these. Uh, nickel cadmium batteries and they're pretty hard to find uh, in my experience my years of experience looking around and uh, for an auction is unheard of and so these auctions are ending, ending pretty fast but the biggest group that is listed currently is this uh, 20 cell saft um, group here uh, it, it listed at uh, 5.28 kilowatts. Now, how they get that estimate, I'd like to know, because I got a ton of a, uh, literally ton of uh, these types of batteries and others. So, um, I would just say that uh, you got to pay for the shipping and everything. But you see here, uh, these are in good shape. I had zoomed in on a little closer on some of these and uh one of the photos and they say they're made in france because they don't make them in the u.s anymore um and you'd need the uh connecting bus bars obviously but that's pretty fairly easy to manufacture or get a hold of we'll just list through the listing here and um Talks about needing the M12 1.5 nuts for those, so it's good to know. So yeah, um, there you go. And uh, let me, let's refresh it. Right now, where yesterday it was a 250. Let's refresh it. See what they're going for now. Oh, sorry, 230. So yeah, obviously refresh when I clicked on the on the page initially. So never mind. We'll look at a few others here. Cause uh, once these are gone, I don't think they'll come up again very soon. They're hard to get a hold of because the environmental. Um, get these right here. So yeah, if, if you look in a little closer at some of these images, um, but they'll tell you more. But um, yeah, made of made of France. So uh, nickel cadmium batteries, they they have a long, long, long shelf life. And uh, and as as you may know, I'm a, I'm a fan of nickel iron, but nickel cadmium's a kissing cousin to nickel iron as far as properties. So, um, you know, when you can't find one, you do with the other. If you you know, so um. So I just want to click on a few more of these. Not, not. I mean, I, I could go in depth and look around and, and, 
and show you all the different ones but I'm just trying to show you what what was on sale today or sorry for uh, auction and the different the different designs and stuff um, so if you're looking for uh, big old groups of batteries I mean it's it's uh it's quite easy to work with nickel cadmium and uh and um and like that nick nickel iron and stuff because it they don't require a BMS and that, that's my stumbling block trying to get into the into the lithium world it's been it's been a little rough. I got one of those uh, le electrodocus deals, and I gotta do some soldering, and just don't have the time. And what had I got a soldering station? It's still in the box. I don't have time to look at it because I've been working myself into the into the ground. So but yeah, I just want to do a little bit of a look see. This may be all that's going to be left. I don't have time to really document all these. In the past, I would uh, try to see all the sizes, types, and uh, nomenclatures and things of these batteries. So I could build some kind of index, but I've done that in a long time. I got to do it, do it before the... If I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that before the, uh, the bidding ends and then... And they're delisted. So this is a this is an interesting one right here. There's some kind of history here. I think when uh, the Edison um, brand uh, cadmiums were getting on their last uh, on their last uh, uh, manufacturing times before they were closed down. By the EPA, I believe. Um, they may have changed their name to uh, Americad. So these these are probably from the late seventies, early eighties. These are really good shape. Um, but you can you can kind of see the transition. They got the the new brand name here. But then the tops are these these Edison um, tops. That was probably the last, obviously the last kind they made of those vent filler caps. So, but yeah, this model differs from the ones I got. They got a uh, two two connecting poles for each positive and negative. So that's interesting. This is interesting. So that's a good way to get a good set of uh, Edison nickel or nickel cadmiums. Um, they're probably well taken care of, obviously, out of the sunlight. Minor sunstroke. Um, yeah, maybe I should document all these. Um, there needs to be a nickel cadmium user's book or something. So you know all the different kinds, and there needs to be a cat. So maybe I need to write one, right? Instead of saying there needs to be one, I should write one up. Because I, I already made a, a book on uh, nickel iron. It's called the Nickel Iron Encyclopedia. It's on it's on um, it's on Amazon, <clears throat> but I gotta revise it. Hmm. Down by power, huh? Well, that was probably the end user. Um, I don't think I've seen this brand before. Nika? No, I don't think I have. Huh. So, yeah, I mean, 
the batter world is really wild. There's a lot of history, a lot of stuff. Um, did we just click on this, or which one did we just click on? These are SAFs. So they're they're using basically the same designs and stuff, but um, they got different different uh, connecting things and and vit, vit fillers and dimensions and stuff, just enough to be uh, irksome. So yeah, I mean, so this is battery hookup if you want to get some uh, nickel cadmium batteries in, in good shape and a good uh, good amount be the way to go and if not there's always um yeah these are the ones that we already looked at but you'll notice see see how these have the um the male ends and these have the female ends for the uh, connecting lugs so you're gonna have all kinds of problems figuring that out which is you know just part of the process um, so yeah, so I just wanted to make this little video. This is battery hookup, uh, and their auctions for battery lots basically. And then you win the auction and something they were saying there was, um, they, they have an auction that's when there can't be any bid, bid sniping because it, it auto extends 12 seconds after the last bid or whatever so that'd be irksome i know i've i've been quite the sniper <laughs> uh for bidding but if i were to get any of these i'd try to get this one right here because it, it's it's hard to get these huge it's hard to get these huge um these huge cells it really is and um there they, there they are for you. It'd be pretty easy compared to what I've been trying to do, collecting things. So, yeah. So anyway, we'll close this up and upload it. All right, this Milton Dust Museum. Sorry, I'm a little groggy, but it's just the way things are when you're when it's about 100 degrees for weeks on weeks. You're tired. I gotta go to an academy, start a new, uh, start a, an additional career. And so Monday, I'll be there up in Spokane and doing that. But anyway, I get ready for that. All right. Thanks so much.